center of the controversy because of the video that you're looking at now. Kerry Morrison, the mom of that child, was sitting at the edge of the pool. Her infant daughter fell in, and Morrison, mom, let her try to save herself, and she did that. Uh, now, she let the child try to save herself for a very good reason. Kerry Morrison joins us now. I'm right in saying, Karen, welcome to the show. It's great to have you with us. You were right three feet away from your daughter as she slipped into the pool, mm -hmm. and you let her slip into the pool for a reason. What's the reason? Because I knew exactly what she was going to do. She had already been in lessons for about three weeks, and she was trained to roll back and float unassisted. And to be honest with you, I don't see the fuss over the video. I think it's amazing. Look what she's doing. Yeah, uh, why, why are you, I think you're running a program of, of, a, of, of a very, very young children getting into a pool and basically saving themselves. Why did you start that program? I didn't start the program. I have a foundation called Live Like Jake, and we promote the ISR Infant Swimming Resource Program. That program actually has been around almost 50 years. And Jake was your son, I believe, who was drowned? Yes. Okay. Yes, my son drowned about two and a half years ago while we were away, and um, I have made it my life's mission to not only protect my two daughters, but also children all over the world by providing scholarships for these lessons. You see, I don't think many people knew about the background of this story, of what happened to your mm -hmm. own son, Jake. That's why there was so yes. much controversy when this video yes. went around the world. Um, you see no harm in allowing a child to save itself. I mean, there's no harm in that. In fact, you think that's a good survival skill? Absolutely. I mean, I know the alternative. My son did not know, did not have these skills, and he's no longer with okay. us. As a parent, I cannot tell you how devastating that is. I, I can understand, ma'am. I, I, I can understand, or at least I can try to. And a lot of people are saying, however, uh, that that child, your child in the, in the video right there, will suffer trauma mm -hmm. because of what happened to her. That it will be a buried memory which will come out in a negative way later. What do you say to those critics? I can assure you that is very far from the truth. My other daughter, Julia, started the program at eight months. She's two and a half years old now. She loves the water. She swims like a fish. My daughter, Josie, that video was taken about seven months ago. She loves the water. She's still in lessons. Do it's, all could children, not be any further from the truth. Do all little babies like that save themselves? They, they figure it out like nature figures out how to stay afloat? Absolutely not. They're taught that. Those skills, they can start the skills as early as six months. The program is four to six weeks, five days a week, ten minutes a day. It's all muscle memory when they're young like that. That, that video was not just, hey, let's put her on the steps and see what she does. She was already trained to get up to that point in clothes, diaper, and so forth. Now, since this video appeared so widely around the world, have you had people mm -hmm. asking about the program that you run? Absolutely. Um, I think it's, it's, that's my mission, is to create awareness for water safety and that there are programs out there like ISR to teach this type of method because there's not always going to be a wall or stairs to swim to. They need to learn the self-rescue part to float and be able to yell for help and breathe. Kerry Morrison, we really appreciate you being here and giving us the full Thank story. You. And there is a full story, and you've told it. Thank you very much indeed, ma'am. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay. Ooh.